Smelly fish, smelly new line. Arthur wished to the sheds. I need an engine to go to the fishing village while Thomas is being repaired, he said. Any volunteers? Me! The hat brought in a new engine to help with the heavy workload. He was long and had ten drive wheels. He looked very strong. This is Murdoch. He's going to be pulling freight on the main line. You're a chatty lot, Murdoch said quietly. Soon Murdoch was coupled to a long, long line of heavy freight cars. His boiler strained, his wheels started to turn, and the mighty engine chuffed away. Murdoch longed for some peace and quiet. But everywhere he went, it was noisy and crowded. At the end of the day, Murdoch was looking forward to a good night's rest. But Salty and Harvey were full of questions. What's the longest train you've ever pulled? Have you ever worked Marseille? Have you ever crashed? Please, I want some peace and quiet. And I don't want to share a shed with chatterboxes. No need to be rude, huffed Harvey. Hey, we're only being friendly, matey. The next morning, Murdoch collected another long, heavy train. This time, he chuffed into the beautiful countryside. It was splendid. At last, he had some peace and quiet. Suddenly, his driver applied the brakes. There were sheep on the tracks. The sheep escaped from that field, said the driver, through that broken fence. The driver and the fireman tried to chase the sheep back. First this way, and then that way. They tried everything, but Murdoch was very unhappy. The noisy sheep were spoiling his peace and quiet. The sheep were becoming noisier and noisier. Please stop, groaned Murdoch. I'd rather be back with the chatterbox engines. Just then, Toby chuffed into view. Toby, exclaimed Murdoch. We're certainly glad to see you. Before long, the farmer and his dog went to work. And Murdoch was on his way again. Thanks, Toby. That evening, Murdoch parked between Harvey and Salty. But Murdoch spoke first. I'm sorry that I was cross, he chuffed. I'm very pleased to share a shed with you. And we're very pleased to have your company, said Harvey. Aye, we are, added Salty. It reminds me of a story. Murdoch smiled. The sound of ba ba would have kept him awake, but a salty story would send him happily to sleep. Sir Topham Hatt said that the engines could be decorated too. I'm going to have flags and streamers, whistled Percy. I'm going to have a big red banner, whistled Thomas. What decorations will you have, Gordon? asked Murdoch. Decorations aren't dignified for an important engine like me. I pull the express. Gordon was feeling insulted. <laughs> Soon it was time for the decorating. Percy's driver was wrapping streamers and flags around his funnel. Thomas had a big red banner on his tanks. Even Murdoch was being decorated, although he was very shy about it. Just then, Gordon shunted in. A contest? He puffed. I'm bound to win any contest. Not me, puffed Gordon. You'd never catch me looking so ridiculous. The engines felt splendid was the last engine to join the contest. 
or so he thought. I didn't, huffed Gordon. Gordon was secretly pleased, but he didn't think it was dignified to say so. Silly Gordon. Murdoch passed by pulling a long train. And the carpet suddenly dropped onto one of his freight cars. It is a magic carpet, wailed Percy. And it's going without me! Percy chased after Murdoch. Wait for me, he cried. Please, wait! But Murdoch didn't hear Percy. Murdoch passed through Marin Station. James was taking on passengers. Help! Lifted off Murdoch's freight car. Fly! Percy raced after Toby. Up the line, Emily and Whiff passed more engines. When they saw Whiff, they all laughed too. And Murdoch puffed alongside Emily. I'm going to Farmer McCall's, too. Lots of lines are flooded. Take the Wellsworth track. I'm not going on that track. It's much quicker to go through the forest. I'm excellent Emily. I can make it through. Further up the track, Emily saw Murdoch. Murdoch puffed over. I'm very sorry, Murdoch. You were right. Please, will you pull me out of the mud? Of course, Emily. Soon, Murdoch was chained up to Emily. With a huff and a chuff, he pulled her out of the mud. Emily puffed up to Farmer McCall's. Trevor was waiting. I must take you to the airport right away, Trevor. Emily pumped her pistons. Then she stopped. The tracks on Gordon's Hill are still being cleared. You should take the valley route instead. Thank you, Murdoch. And she puffed away. Hum. Emma's behind it. And Murdoch shunted Rocky. They reached the bottom of the steep hill. This is where I bashed all puffed on. Thomas and Stan.